Have you ever wondered if you drink too much caffeine? Well, how much caffeine is too much? On Spartan Up Today, we're going to get into that. I'm Dr. Nada. I'm a double board certified physician and the founder of Sage Tonic. We've all been there. You're dragging and you have a busy day ahead. You need a quick boost. Many of us turn to caffeine. First of all, I've never known of anyone to die from caffeine overdose. Although death by caffeine sounds unlikely, can it occur? And how much is too much? About 400 milligrams of caffeine is the point at which most of us can develop what's called caffeine intoxication. What does that mean? Well, physically, what you'll feel is first you start to sweat. Then your hands get clammy. You'll feel heart palpitations. You can become irritable, agitated, jittery, and it's hard to sit still. In its most severe case, it can cause life-threatening atrial fibrillation, that's an irregular heartbeat, which can prompt an MI, that's a myocardial infarct or a heart attack. Well, how much caffeine is in the stuff we drink? Your typical eight ounce cup of black coffee, straight up, not with syrup, whipped cream, or flavorings, has about 95 milligrams of caffeine. Some will have upwards of 150 milligrams, depending on the type of bean and how it's processed. So, about three cups of coffee, depending on the type, and you're already nearing the range for caffeine intoxication. By comparison, your typical cup of tea also depends on the type, whether it's green or black, it can have anywhere from about 30 to 70 milligrams of caffeine per cup. In tea, a good portion of the caffeine leaches out in the first 30 seconds of brewing. If you want a lower caffeine content, brew for 30 seconds, pour off that first batch, and re-steep. If you want that caffeine, then don't. So some key points for caffeine in coffee and tea, don't overdo it, be in tune with your body, and any symptoms of caffeine intoxication. Other than that, choose your brew and enjoy.